Okay, so we have another example. Let's say you deposit $50 at the end of each month for your annuity that pays 6% compound a monthly for 30 years. Find the value of the annuity. So again, let's list all of our values. We have A, P, R, N, and T. Let's see what we can identify. $50, $50 that's going to be the periodic payment. Um, at the end of each month that pays 6% so that's 0 0.06 compounded monthly so that's 12 times a year for 30 years what is the value of the annuity we don't know so I have the formula right here so I'm not gonna have to rewrite that I can see that on the screen so we have a equals 50 bracket parentheses 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 to the 12 times 30, then minus 1, and your bracket, over 0 0.06 divided by 12. Again, one of the hardest things is to knowing where you have to put those extra set of parentheses. We're going to have to start with an extra set of parentheses around the top and around the entire bottom. You have to keep all of the numerator together, and you have to keep all of the denominator together. Additionally, we can we need to put a parentheses around the exponent, the 12 times 30, to make sure that the 12 times 30 stays together and you're not raising it to the 12 and then multiplying by 30. So if you have a calculator like mine, we're going to just type it left to right and see every single parentheses. If you don't have a calculator like mine, you're going to have to work inside out. So you'll have to work this parentheses, find out what that is, raise it to the exponent, figure out what that is, hit enter, then minus 1, hit enter, then multiply it by 50, hit enter, then divide it by the denominator and hit enter. Um, so having one of these calculators that have a screen on it uh, that shows you what you're typing is actually very helpful. So we have parentheses 50, parentheses, parentheses, so I'm just going left to right, parentheses 50, parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, close that parentheses, caret, which we're trying to raise to the exponent, so you're using that hat-like thing. Open the parentheses, 12 times 30, close that parentheses, and then not in the exponent, minus 1, close the parentheses. Uh, how many parentheses we have at the end? Up oh, two, so we got to put in an extra one. So I just, I'm making sure that I'm reading this, and I'm, and every time I see a parentheses, I'm, I'm typing it in divided by parentheses 0 0.06 divided by 12 parentheses. When I hit enter, my A annuity turns out to be 50,225.75 cents. So this is the future value of my annuity if I um, deposit $50 at the end of each month. To get the interest, Remember the interest is A minus P times N times T. So my A is 50, 225.75 cents, minus $50 a month for 12 months for 30 years. So I can do 5022. 5.75 minus 50 times 12 times 30. This one fortunately doesn't need any extra parentheses. So this is 32,225 and 75 cents. Excellent. So um, that is going to be the interest for this problem. Now sometimes you want to know how much money you uh, need to deposit so uh, that eventually your annuity has a future value that you may want to, that you may desire. For this situation, we can solve the original value of the annuity equation for P. Now instead of using this A formula for everything and then having to solve and um, algebraically solve to get the other values. Uh, we actually gave you the formula in terms of A and in terms of P. I need you to understand that these two formulas are the same formula, but one solve for A 
and the other one is solve for p without you having to do any real work to solve one for the other I'm just gonna go ahead and give you both of those formulas um, if you need to uh, get the annuity payments p then you use this formula if you need to get the pay uh, the future value a then you would use the formula we've already taught you okay So let's give another example here. Parents of a baby girl are in a financial position to begin saving for her college education. They plan to have $100,000 in a college fund in 18 years by making regular end-of-the-month deposits on an annuity that pays 9% compounded monthly. Okay, so we still need to start with A, P, R, N, and T. Okay. So they plan to have $100,000 in the future. So that's A. I want that much. That's not how much they're depositing every month. I don't know who could be able to deposit that every month. Um, that would be a ridiculous amount of money. So this is what they want to have eventually. Okay, 18 years, that's time. By making regular end of the month, that's N, 12 months in a year, um, into an in annuity that pays 9% compounded monthly. Okay, so we have 9% and then we also need to know how much we should deposit. Okay, so just because we don't have P, that automatically tells us we need to use the formula that has already been solved for P. It's going to save you a whole lot of time than using the other formula and then trying to solve. That's just um, way too difficult. So we have P equals on the numerator 100,000 parentheses 0.09 divided by N which is 12. I'm just following this formula up here. On the denominator I have a bracket and then a parentheses and then a 1 plus 0.09 divided by N which is 12. Close that parentheses. In the, num in the exponent I have 12 times 18 then minus 1 and then close that bracket. Again one of the hardest things to do is to figure out how to type this in the calculator. So let's see if there's any extra parentheses we need. It looks like we need an extra set of parentheses around the numerator so that the 100,000 is being multiplied by the parentheses and it stays in the numerator. We also need an extra set of parentheses around the 12 plus times 18 in the exponent. The denominator doesn't need an extra set of parentheses because there is a bracket all the way on the outside here and a bracket already already on the outside there. So that one has it in the formula. So that's kind of nice and I don't have to add an extra set of parentheses. So when I type this in, I type parentheses 100,000 parentheses 0.09 divided by 12 then close the parentheses twice. Okay, see there's two parentheses there. Then I hit divide by and then I'm opening up the denominator which is two parentheses to start with, a bracket and parentheses. Then 1 plus 0.09 divided by 12. Close that parentheses. Raise it, use the caret button. Parentheses 12 times 18. Close that parentheses. My calculator tells me to go to the right. Needs to go to the right. Yours probably doesn't. Minus one. Close that parentheses. Now there's only one set of parentheses here, so it looks like I have finished all my parentheses. Let's hit enter and find out what our p is. So p turns out to be 186 and 44 cents. So that's what I'm going to be rounding to actually this says nearest dollar doesn't it so we're going to be rounding up so we're going to round this to the nearest dollar 187 now it says round up because if you round down then that's affecting all of the other payments and you won't be have your hundred thousand but if you round up you'll definitely have your hundred thousand for your 18 year old daughter when she turns goes to college All right, next we want to find out what the uh, interest is, um, how much of this comes from deposits, and then how much comes from interest. So let's just find out what the deposits are first. 
the deposits are going to be uh, the hundred and eighty seven dollars times twelve months times eighteen years one hundred and eighty seven times twelve times eighteen so my deposits are going to be forty thousand three hundred and ninety two dollars okay so I only deposit forty thousand over the eighteen years but really my daughter's gonna have a hundred thousand because of all the interest because I started early the earlier you start saving the more interest is gonna accrue and then you get interest on that interest and it's actually gonna be a whole lot more money if you start early okay the more time you put into it now how much comes from interest well interest is going to be my total value of the annuity which is going to be a hundred thousand because that's what I wanted minus my deposits which I've already figured out so that's a hundred thousand minus the forty thousand three ninety two so one hundred thousand minus forty thousand three ninety two and that is going to be fifty nine thousand six hundred eight dollars that's um, quite a big difference you're only saving forty thousand dollars of your own actual money but because you started early and you because you used the bank you are getting more money in interest than you did in the actual payments because you started early and you used your money to work for itself by earning interest and then interest on that interest